Okay, so hopefully it doesn't end up lagging really hard, but uh, yeah, this is Guild Wars again. Let's take a look. I didn't have a, a opportunity to voice the last one, so I just kind of recorded it and uh, sent it out. But uh, let's see, we were two something or one sixty four um, versus X Infinity. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. So I guess we're ignoring the main fortress. Uh, let's see. One of our teammates attacked it and went 50 50. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think the strategy on the Discord is uh, we just want to break all the towers. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, my defense really quickly, see how I was doing. Um, so last time I was like, I pointed this out and I kind of like moused over just to show. I don't know, just to show something. Um, this top team I had uh, in the last Guild War one was, was really dumb. Uh, I forgot who was here. I think it was uh, um, Lilius was here or something like that. No, I think Crow was there. Or not Crow, uh, Charles. Uh, that defense was, was really dumb. Um, but I like this one a lot more. It looks, it feels a lot more irritating. Uh, he's in front and she's feeding damage into him and then she's just on the side. Um, so yeah, uh, this was like I'm still having a hard time coming up with something here. I really do want Zerato here. I think he's a good, I think he's a good pick. But um, for one, my Zerato's not uh, mullet enough, and uh, I don't really have any like good supporting units for him. Uh, I probably probably I might run dizzy at some point, but I have to figure out who like who else to run here. Um, but yeah, that's that's the problem with that. Uh, it's just the other problem is they can also be cleaved because nobody here is really that fast. You can just kind of bring in um, like uh, Oxlot's Judge Kise thing, um, and this it's harder to cleave. Like they can cleave, but like he he might die. Uh, she'll be here, and then she'll dual attack with her, and they'll just be irritating for a while. Um, if anything, I should probably put like um, yeah, I don't know something else should be here. But yeah, so this this I mean this team down here is kind of iffy. Yeah, so that, that top team, I'm fairly certain, uh, fairly confident in it. I think we're kind of even. They've also got less attacks than we do. Uh, so I guess, okay, that building's gone. So I think I'm just going to do these two and then the stronghold. Uh, I guess not. Maybe it's just this one over here in the stronghold. Uh, let's see. Someone's attacking it right now. It's got 80, I think. We'll see. I might pause it and then come back. Um... I think I'm gonna take out the stronghold, or not take it out, right? Obviously, but maybe just hit it. Um, this looks like a lot of single target damage. I think I might run a, like a crow in here somewhere. Mm. Crow's been running really high effectiveness lately, so I'm kind of concerned about that. You want some AoE for the um, her there. It's got a decent team because you want AoE her to hurt. You want to AoE her, but uh, you want to kind of avoid hitting him. So I kind of like it. Um, if anything, he's probably going to have immunity, so that's there's that to consider. What about this? I'm gonna do that with, uh, where are you? Where is she at? With you. Oh, she's right here. Down here. I think this is good, actually. Uh, yeah, this will be fine for down here, and then he can S3 him, and then everybody else can just die. Um, this one, so my plan is, uh, she is not going to be faster than him. Uh, he might be. Sometimes they are. He's like 223 speed or something like that. Um, sometimes 220 speed. Crow is about like the upper end. But, you know, who knows? He might be like 225, 230. And that's enough to outspeed my Bissar. Um, and this is usually, guys, usually slow. So my plan is to uh, push her forward. Uh, just S3 Crow. Uh, then, like... Hopefully she can do something about um, keeping Crow like distracted or, or uh, at bay somewhere. I really should be running something a lot safer, a little safer than this. Um, maybe 
probably, I think, you know what, I think I might just go with uh, Fallen CC here because... So the crowd, depending on how high the effectiveness on the crowd is, because the crowd can like do some serious uh, damage to my team here. Um, I think I'm just gonna put her here. So basically, I'm gonna try to bait Crow with her. See how that goes. Um, she should be able to S3 her uh, him. Uh, then just kind of go from there. Uh, the, the biggest problem is going to be, like, if, if Crow outspeeds him, he'll put up the defense buff on him, and then it'll be a lot harder for her to uh, just, like, one-shot him. Um, I still might be able to do it. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, down here, like I said, this should be fairly simple, so let's just go in there. Um, also, my FCC is, like, super tanky. Okay, so I think one of the problem, another problem is here... Is my Euphine might not make it past the crowd. If he, if she doesn't, I think I guess I'll just test out. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna test out uh, Crow's effectiveness here for a second. Okay, so he resisted. I've got like 50% effectiveness. It's not a whole lot, mind you, but uh, it's it's not nothing. Um, so he's probably. I mean, he's got at least 50% effectiveness, right? A little more. Holy shit! Um, yeah, I can't win this at this point, so I'm just gonna have to leave. That's pretty irritating. I, I, should, I don't know what the... I didn't get any info on the, uh... The person who attacked it just kind of was like, whatever about it. I didn't get any info on that, um, ML Ken. So that was a risky team, no matter what. No matter how you sliced it, um, but yeah. So, I got kind of... Uh, I went... I got the sort of short end of the stick on the RNG there. 13, so I should... S3 here, or S2 here with what's her name. Okay, make something. Let's see how much damage I do. Uh, okay, so we did the thing. So I think I'm just going to S. Yeah, I'm just gonna S S2 S him. I'm, I'm just gonna focus down the Charles first in this scenario. Uh, let's do this. Charles is gonna go after uh, him, and she's yeah, he's obviously gonna go after Lil, uh, Ruel here. Uh, let's do. I'm probably gonna get S. Uh, Elbrist by Charles here, but whatever. Yeah, there we go. It's Elbrist, so one and two. So fortunately I got the defense um, buff this time around. Oh wow, I got defense break on everybody. Okay, so she went forward there. She's gonna S3 her. I think my crow actually has like 50% effect resistance, which is kind of funny. Okay, let's see if this kills. Does not. Which means I get to do this. Uh, so I think he should survive. Because, uh, what's his name? Kron's gonna S1 here. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, Kron's gonna S1 here, and he has a shield, and he's water, so he shouldn't be. It's actually kind of sketchy there. Um, who should I hit? I'm just gonna hit you. Okay. Alright, oh, that's cool. I forgot about that. Uh, he can't buff because the buff block is on him. That was pretty neat. So there you go. I mean, it's kind of obvious to, 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 to a point, anyway. Um, but yeah, I guess. Uh, SSB does make a pretty good counter to Kron, so if you're having trouble with Kron, I mean, you know, bring SSB in there because she buff blocks him, which means he can't get immortality. Uh, he AOEs, which means he just you can just farm him for um, farm him for uh, what's it called? 
stacks for her S2. Um, so yeah, uh, if I mean, I've, like you could see there, one of his S1s were like uh, doing quite a bit of damage to, to my um, SSB. Um, at that point, like, like you could bring her in and still lose, especially could bring her in and still lose with her, uh, especially just with how hard crowds are hitting these days. Um, but the thing to point out there is that like, you pro like you probably would have lost anyway. Like at that point, it's not so much that like SSB is not countering. Uh, let's see, SSB isn't countering your um, the Karon. Right, so I mean, like I said, so I believe SSB counters Charon. If you bring it in, a lot of times if you bring her in and then lose anyway, um, it's it's important to realize that if he's doing that much da a lot of damage and he ends up killing her or whatever, it's usually not that like SSB was at fault there. It's more like they're just out gearing you. Like when you can get hit that hard by a Charon, it's usually just that they out like their entire team. It's probably gonna just outgear you. Um, so let's see. So this is a pretty interesting one because let's put you here and you here and you here. Uh, just because he is probably gonna focus her. Like if she gets low, he'll focus her. But I think he'll just focus him there. This is kind of like that other one. Uh, instead of having CC here, he has a crowd which could potentially just kill somebody here. Uh, instead of having um, what's his name? Uh, Charles here, he has this. I think the same principle applies. So let's just kind of take a look at uh, how this how this turns out. Um, so down here, let's see what can we do here. I think I'm just gonna bring Crow down here. Let's see. I think I might just do this. Let's do. Let's put you here. Or not Crow. I mean uh, Charles down here. Where's Charles? Where's Charles? Oh, here it is. So I might just do this. Um, hopefully this doesn't uh, bite me in the ass, but uh, I've been wrong before. Uh, da -da -da. I mean, I could bring, let's see. I could bring like CC to this, but I think this should be decent. I'm kind of. I, just, I can't be asked right now, especially because I lost Euphine in there to some like bad RNG. I mean, all right, so uh, you know you can kind of say it wasn't bad RNG, and and I wouldn't necessarily disagree with you. Um, but yeah, it's just like it's just really annoying. Um, but I think what I want to do. I think I want to bring like a fire unit. Like I really just want to. I'm worried about this. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Uh, see how that goes. I already kind of lost the first one, so I'm kind of like, I don't care anymore. Let's see where this goes here. Uh, okay, so he's doing this. See if he hits. If he hits SSB, uh, that's irritating. It's not that bad. He's not doing a lot of damage. Um, that much speed is definitely eating into your. Um, into how much damage you, you can do. Uh, so let's hit you. So this is pretty good because I can farm uh, damage off of him. Cause now he'll counterattack the Crow. Now Crow's lower. See him hit him. Yeah, so Crow hits Crow. Basically, Crow's lower now, so people are just going to be hitting him left and right. So what I'm going to do here is hit you with the S1. And yeah, so he's gonna hit that because he's not gonna he's not gonna hit water. And that didn't do any damage, so that's good. Uh, so let's do this. So basically, I'm just gonna attack this guy with a uh, crowd to just try to get him low, and I'm just gonna keep hitting him. He's got eleven thousand. My crow just went down to ten k. I'm just gonna hit him again. Twenty-five thousand HP, crow. So he's down to twenty k. Uh, again, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, the reason I'm not S three. Let's see. 
I mean, you can S3 in this situation, uh, especially like because you know you don't want to pop that. Um, so I'm going to hit you now, uh, especially because you want to like hit the S3 before you pop his immortality. But I'm oh shit, come on, don't don't. Ah. That would have been a perfect like this always happens. I think I mean obviously you guys have seen a few of these already, um, but that since happened a lot. It really gets on my nerves. Um, I'm just gonna have to S S to him. Okay, so this Kron is gonna like S three or something. Yeah, it's an S three her. He, I think he has his S three up. It's really irritating. It's like this long ass cutscene, and I'm not allowed to like see if uh. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, so very interesting. Uh, so I guess at this point, I, I kind of have no choice. I really have to S3 this Krow, because he's going to S3 me. Um, but, fortunately, uh, the this guy over here is easy pickings. Uh, what's, he, what's he on? Oh, he's got one more turn. Um... So this is why I, I wasn't using the S3. I mean, ideally you probably should have been using the S3, but like, I like to think about my stacks a little bit. Oh, I, I didn't miss, but I didn't, um, I didn't, oh, okay, so he does have the S3 now, which is fine because uh, Ruel can revive somebody and it's it's on Krow, which he's not gonna die. Um, but like, you wanna be mindful of your uh, stacks with SSB. Let's see, let's just hit him with this. With your stacks with SSB, so like, Whenever originally the situations that were coming up for me to use the S the S3 there, I'm just gonna burn this just to make sure no one dies here. Um, it's not like I need the burn for anything else in it either. Um, the stacks every time I was gonna I had the opportunity to use the S3, the stacks were like um, already maxed, so I'd be wasting stacks because the S3 gives you three stacks right off the bat there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get hit here and then I'm gonna hit again. Let's see how much. This is very interesting. I'm not sure if I can actually kill this guy. Ooh, crowd died. That's pretty annoying. Uh, so now... I'm just gonna S3 crowd because... I think he's gonna... He, yeah, I mean, obviously, I think he's gonna hit um, SSB now. See where my crow is on the turn bar here. Ugh. Oh, he had his S3 again. That's annoying too. Uh, so she survived that. Uh, what's it? Is his S2 still on cooldown? Yeah. So I'm gonna get countered here, which is pretty annoying. Yep. So one, two, and oh, she's not dead. Good. Uh, so basically, what I do now is that I'm gonna S2 SSB while I'm like really juggling this around. Um, I took in a lot of water here. Uh, I guess the the thing I gotta wait for is uh, Krause. Oh my gosh, dude! Uh, let's see. Let's hit him with this. So he's gonna hit uh, SSB here, which is gonna be pretty annoying. Yeah, so now I have to wait. Oh man, this sucks. Hopefully her S3, is her S3 back already? Come on, please. <laughs> uh, she's faster than Krauss, so hopefully she'll lap him. Ah! Come on, don't kill him. Okay, so that's cool. I get my uh, I get my SSB back and Krau is now low enough to just S3 him. Um, Probably should have cut out somewhere in there, but it was kind of stressing me out, and I didn't really want to like turn away to go do that. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, now now we're good. So he's gonna, or I'm I'm gonna do something, I guess. I'll just S3 him. Let's see if this kills him. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, that that was like I said, that was fairly secured win. It's just that that. Um, that uh, Violet was being a little funky. So let's do this. 
So that Charles is pretty fast, which leads me to believe maybe he's not going to do a lot of damage, but um, you really are yeah, those are famous last words. Uh, so let's do this. Okay, so 18. 23. Oh, I was about to say, I, I was like 90% sure I was going to get the Elvis proc on that. Or the uh, Mind's Eye proc. Okay. Let's... I don't know what to do here. Um, I'm just going to do this. S1, S2. I want to strip this, uh, hopefully strip this uh, attack buff. Okay, good. Yeah, because that uh, SSB is already hitting pretty hard. Ugh. I mean, that's sort of my fault, but I didn't really have much of a choice. Okay, I think we're all, I think either we're all going to die or, yeah, we're probably just going to die here. Ugh. I've never been more irritated by uh, Fallen CC than right now. And of course she just lands everything. Yeah, so this is basically just game here. Um, losing my... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna die, no matter what. Losing my um, Yufine earlier. I mean, Yufine could've just S3'd like one of them. Um, but yeah, this is basically useless. Uh, Charles, just, uh, Charles is just gonna die because I don't have counter set on him. Uh, so yeah, this Guild War has been a bit of a pain. Uh, let's take a look. Let's just find one last guy to just get this last attack out of the way. Uh, yep, this one looks fine. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's like we all have our good days and we all have our bad days. See, here's another one. Like... Her just sitting here just trolls me because it's like, you know, I could have had I could have had Yufin to just like one shot her or her. I usually just one shot him, her, and then like focus on the other ones. Um, but let's see, what am I doing here? I mean, I'm just kind of putting whatever together. I'm already kind of out of units. This is about as deep as my uh, my pool goes. I don't have a lot that I can deal with um, this right here. Uh, so I'm just going to try and do that um, so she's gonna go first uh, cleanse everybody and then he's gonna s3 and then uh, either the difference break or um, stun because I have my Ayala's on him my, or my abyssal is on him and Ayala's on her uh, so let's just let's just do this just because I'm sort of done with this Oh man, it's been a bad week for Aether Raids and um, Epic 7, Fire Emblem and Epic 7. That's pretty annoying. Uh, let's do... So that didn't do anything. Uh, I don't really let you... I probably should have hit her just because... If you... If you... I think if you reduce... Yeah, so if you kill... If you reduce... Uh, cr uh, cr uh, what's his name? Kron's HP to zero before the S3 applies the unbuffable. Basically, you have to not kill him. Hold on, sorry. You have to not kill him with the S3. You have to do little damage, so you don't kill him with the S3 from SSB, so that the buff block is on him before he's dead, and then you just hit him with something, and then he'll die. Um, but yeah, obviously that wasn't the case. Everything sort of conspired against me there, specifically, especially specifically because um, I got my uh, S3 off there, or my S2 off, and then it gave him defense break. So then, yeah, kind of everything went wrong there. Uh, so now Karon's gone, that's, which is good. Uh, I can work, work on killing. Um, what's her name here? Um, Lilius. Let's just kill her real quick. Okay. So now, uh, Kraus should be easy to handle and just, like, attack him. It's interesting that a lot of people are running, um, high resistance Kraus. I don't... 
I mean, it's not like a bad idea. It's, you know, you guys have seen my crowd gets kind of like taunted at the worst possible moments. Um, so it's a good way to like, uh, what's the word? It's a good way to to defend against that. Um, let's see if he doesn't kill my, um, okay. So he's gonna hit crowd, which basically means that my crowd's not ready to kill his crowd. I like bringing Crow into Crow for this specific reason. Um, sometimes, like it, it's it's annoying because sometimes he he doesn't hit Crow. Uh, but as long as like you're managing your HP bars, I think uh, more, more often than not he'll hit him. Okay, so let's do. Oh well, nobody's got immunity, which is like the main problem. So let's just do this. I'm actually curious to see if this works. Um, okay, so this will happen. Uh, you might wonder why Momo's here if uh, I need him to like debuff stuff, but Momo's just here for like um, giving one person immunity and like, yeah. So let's see. Let's hit Crowl. Okay. So uh, I think this is a damage dealy crow. I don't. Oh, of course he still crit the. Um, I'll show you my power. Still crit him. Oh, this is you know what? This is this is really stupid. I should have. Um, let's see. Of course. SSB gives you. Um, oh no, never mind. I thought she had the. Uh, Balls. She died. Yeah, that's pretty irritating. Um, let's do this. I probably should have S3'd her. Yeah. Uh, and then she's gonna die. So I think I should have S3'd. Um, what's her name? The. Um, Dizzy, so that she wouldn't get defense broken. She still probably would have died, um, but you know, better to have done it than not to have. Uh, let's do this. Of course, she's gonna keep launching these at me. Um, then I'm just gonna do this. Uh, so the A Momo is kind of here for that too. It's like the. Um... Where's my? Oh, what happened to my defense buff? I don't remember what happened to that. Uh, so as you can see, he's not healing as much as he should, even though he's got like, um, he's got enough HP to generally heal himself back. I mean, a lot, if you see a lot of Zerados, they do this much healing. Uh, problem being, I don't have any Molas here, so I've got him a life set. Um, so he's not heal he's not doing enough damage from lack of Molas as well as just like, lack of decent damage gear. Did he... Oh, that looked like he uh, looked like he uh, hit three people with that. Uh, so then this happens, and I didn't get the wow. That was just like the worst luck ever, right? So I didn't get the I didn't get the. Um, she's got a hundred percent right on this uh, S one taunt, and it didn't land for one. So if I had survived that, uh, I wouldn't have been able to counter. I might have maybe I should have countered in between the uh, Charles thing. Um, but not only did he combo attack with Charles. But also, Charles got the S2, even though my Zerato's not buffed. Um, so, you know, <laughs> welcome to Epic 7. Um, so at this point, yeah, this is just sort of, it's over. Uh, I didn't expect that team to do very much. Uh, it might have been a little better if I had, like, if she hadn't died. Um, but of course, the you know, you've got the whale advantage with uh, SSB. So if you, for those of you who don't know, uh, SSB... Um, she kind of like, she doesn't get debuffed the way you want her to, and she always just misses the right one. So like, I missed the one debuff that would have saved me there, which is the, the miss debuff, right? Um, and she landed the, the defense break on the one unit who I needed not to be on, as well as Zerato didn't land a single defense break anywhere. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, it's just how it is. I mean, I, I've gone through this. I mean, I, I have SSB Triple S imprinted um, over the past year. Uh, so I get that RNG on my side a lot. So yeah, so for those of you wondering whether you should pull SSB, yeah, you should, because the game uh, swings at, uh, 
RNG in your favor in that case. Uh, but yeah, so just another lesson in uh, taking the wrong units this into the wrong fight. So two draws and a victory. I forgot what the victory was, where I victoried. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. Let's go take a look at my... Yeah, so I think, um, like I said, I might have to put like a... Uh, the Dizzy here. Like maybe have Dizzy... That and that, but then like the fact that Dizzy and Zerat are on the same team basically just makes it cleavable. Like the reason I put these two here is because you can't really cleave. Well, I mean you probably could, but it'd be a lot harder to cleave um, these two considering how tanky they are. Uh, but um, yeah, so I don't have to figure this out. I have to figure out what to do here. Uh, oh, did I get all attack draws? Oh, I guess I did get all attack draws. I thought I won one of them. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's that's this week's uh, Guild War. Um, it's pretty interesting uh, how <laughs> how much my mood tends to affect Guild War, but I guess that's just making uh, I guess that's just making excuses at this point. Uh, you know, good luck on your own Guild Wars. Uh, hopefully, nobody uh, scrubs out like I did there. <laughs>